guys how is everyone doing and i hope everyone is doing fine it's been a while i'm so sorry guys i'm not be able to be uploading video regularly as before you know there's life after youtube many things to do so i'm so sorry this video is highly requested so that's why i'm making this video i'm sorry the person that requested this video it took time yeah that's because i was not able to get these beans so because today we'll be making Owo beans. This is Owo Isha. We call it Owo Isha. This is the Isha, the beans I will be using. It's a native beans. It's not like your regular beans. It's small. You can see it's small and it has different colors. You, you can see the different color, the brown, the white, you know, inside. So I will be making um, Owo beans. We call it Owo Isha in um, Delta State. This is Delta native uh, food. So this is what I will be cooking today. I have my isha here, which is the beans. I have my fish. This is dry fish I will be using. And I have my uh, crayfish. This is blended crayfish dried. I have my dry pepper. So I've already blended it. And I have my palm oil. I will be using palm oil. And I have my um, dry prawns. So I have my dry prawns here. And I also have my potash, what um, what you call native salt. This is Uweri, we call it Uweri in my language. And this is Ajija, it's also the native salt I'll be using. And I have this um, this uh, spice here that you use also to cook um, for what beans. This is um, uh, Uliele, we call it Uliele. And uh, I think the Igbos, they call it uh, Uda. Uh -huh. I think it's Uda. I don't know, I think that's what they call it. And I don't know the name in English. I'll be adding it to my owo beans. This owo beans, there's no difference between owo beans and then the normal owo. The difference is that you add beans and this spice. It's the only two difference. So we'll be making owo beans without make, wasting much time. Let's start. And before then, there's a, there are other things I'll be adding that I've not, I've not showed you or I'm not showing you yet. I have a um, car leg. You'll see it as we do it together. So guys, so let's make so guys, the owo we'll start beans. by boiling our beans. And then this is my beans here. I've thoroughly washed it very clean. So I will just put it inside my pot. There's water already in the pot. I will have the washed beans. I will just have the washed beans, okay? I'll cover it yeah, to cook. So we'll be right back after the beans is cooked. So guys, right back. And then our beans is cooked. The beans is cooked. It's cooked, it's okay like this. So we're just gonna see back the water. See back the water. Oh okay, guys, sorry, I did not show you the gary earlier on. This is gary. This is a um, yellow gary. So we'll be adding gary to our owo beans, or we'll be using gary also to cook our owo beans. But first of all, I have to soak the gary. So I'll soak the gary with water, cold water. Let's stir it in. And I'm gonna drain it. So I'll drill this one because of the depth. So this is the gary. And I'll be adding more water. This is the gary. I'll just soak and leave my gary there. I have my pot on the gas with water. I will add more water. I will add my pepper. And this is the process of the owo beans. And I will add a soak gari. Hmm? Add my palm oil. This is my palm oil slip. It's congealed, rather. It's gonna melt. It's gonna melt down. So, I think that's enough. So guys, I'm adding my uh, color, I'm using color, I'm using dry fish, this dry fish, so, don't it so. and then I dry shrimps, my shrimps, my blended crayfish, the one I showed you earlier on, I've removed the seed, this I put, so, crushed the uh, seasoning cube or volume, you. I will just stir it. Mm. 
So I'll just leave it to boil, guys. So just leave it to boil. You don't need to cover it, okay? So after your soup has boiled for like 10 minutes, you have the cooked beans. So you're just gonna add the cooked beans to it. See? Add the cooked beans. While the beans is cooking, we're gonna get the um, native salt ugwiri and the ginger ready. I'm going to be taking some. I'm not using all of them. I will just eat them. I will beat them. You take some for me. Yeah, so I'm just eat it like this. Now, so, this is the amount I will be needing. This is the amount I will be needing. So, I will take my ajija. I will take some from it. So, this is not as hard as the. So, I will take some from the ajija. See, see them. So. Now, me. so I'll just put it in. This is how it looks. It smells smooth, so smooth. Here I have my stash. I'm going to add it, put it here. This is it. I'll be mixing it with my stash, okay? Here's my stash, I'll add a little water. Mm -hmm. I'll mix it. So, so I'm adding my blended uh, cash and this to mix like this. Mix it together. consistency look like so guys our soup has been boiling for some time we're just gonna mix it with a mixture of um, starch and the potash or the native salt so stir to get the starch and the native salt that's our mixture and you stir nicely and you leave it to cook for another 10 to 15 minutes so this is after 15 minutes guys and though i did not add any salt from the beginning is because i use native salt so i'm just going to test for salt if it's adding a little salt to it This is our final result of our owo soup. Look at that beautiful color, guys. This is how it looks. So, so delicious, guys. Owo beans or owoisha, according to our native language, is eaten with yam, plantain, or starch, eba. It's very delicious, guys. If you've not tried it, just give it a try. You will like it guys so this is the final result thank you so much guys for watching to this stage or to this point i really appreciate you please don't forget to like share comment thank you and see you in my next video bye it's my own beans it's my own beans and touch Oh, yeah, you. Who gets you